Okay, major update, major disasters, but before we get started, Aquashella is happening. That's right. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, mainly Saturday and Sunday, Chicago, second go round. I hope to see you there. I've got a couple of things I wanna go over. Northfin USA, we've got a ton of great things that are happening and there are a ton of neat products for you to check out. I also wouldn't mind if you checked out Flip Aquatics because Rob from Flip Aquatics has been helping Northfin USA just expand and become that much bigger. And the team that we are creating between Rob and I is simply unstoppable. And we carry Fritz Aquatics products. Fritz Aquatics is doing its thing. And honestly, the products are gonna be way better for your aquarium because they back you and the local fish store. So if you're in support of the local fish store and you want a product that is backed by hobbyists like myself and the many others that are out there, then join the train. Actually, join hashtag Fritz fam. And if not, it's totally cool. That is completely up to you. But most people have been asking me how I lost the weight, maintained a lot of uh, working out energy um, before this past eye issue, which I'll get to on another thing. If you're following me on social media, you'll know. But I've been taking products from Live Relentless. It's Relentless Nutrition. Do me a favor, check out that website and use the code JWilson and you can get yourself a discount. And ultimately, yeah, it does help. And I've got merch, right? T-shirts, hoodies, all that cool stuff. That also helps. So the more that I can do for you, the more exciting it is for me. And ultimately it's one big circle. You're excited, I'm excited, and it's helping everyone because it allows me to continue to do the things that I enjoy doing. So without further ado, let's show you the disaster that is this room because I'm down about 400 tetras and a dart frog. Let's go. What are you doing? You're washing your hands in fish water? Gross. Okay, so here's the deal. I come home, I notice that there's a reduction in tetras. They're gone, right? We didn't know where they went. Oh, we almost lost it. <laughs> well, everybody, I'm missing probably over 460 tetras. I haven't done a count. It's, I've been on the road, there's a ton of stuff happening, but there is less, way less than 500 tetras. I also only see two frogs, which I'm hoping I didn't get three males and they're only gonna continue fighting and then I'll have one. This bad boy is doing wonderful. All four are still alive and I haven't lost a single fish in the Tanganyikan tank. Let's go into each one individually and let's talk about it. And honestly, I can't figure out why the tetras are depleting at the rate they are. Let me kind of take a seat and talk about it. So I did a water change. I did about 60%. I also did about 60% on the Tanganyikan tank. And however, I still couldn't figure out why I only have about 100 tetras left. Yeah, I said that about a hundred. Then I noticed I was missing a geo and I couldn't find the body. I checked everywhere. I also fixed the gurgling, mind you. I disconnected the fluval while the sump's running and I only have the sump right now until I can actually get some time to shut it down and hook up both canisters. But while I was doing the water change, I kind of moved the hose over and something flashed before my eyes. It was massive something bigger than I'd have ever seen. And I've been on the road a lot and coming in and out, I really didn't pay any attention to the tank other than feeding it. Until today, I found what would be a five to six times the size geo that I once put in there. So he didn't get that big just from eating the food that I was feeding. He got that big from taking opportunistic snacks from these little Tetras. Overall, I can't stop it. I can try to get all the tetras out, but where am I gonna put them? Ultimately, if I wanna keep fish other than the quarry cats and the geos, I'm going to have to keep something larger than a neon tetra. It's just not good. 
The geos are showing crazy signs of aggression and ultimately have depleted this tank to almost barely anything. <laughs> but let's see if we can take a peek at how big this guy got. Did you see how big he got? It's absolutely ridiculous. So ultimately I can only continue to feed and hopefully he stays away from the rest. But as far as you could tell, there is barely any Tetras left. And that's the nature of keeping tanks. You know, I thought maybe Geos would be a little bit more subdued, but clearly they're just as aggressive and it's gonna be a case by case basis. But I do wanna to talk to you about this hot rod. Cleaning it? Good job. So this aquarium is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. It is sustaining itself. I've got two FX6s on here still, and I've got some really great growth from these Trophius. Look at this male Darden eye. Did you see his colors? Look at that. Nasty good. So overall this tank is looking luscious as usual. All fake plants because they destroyed it and I'll kind of go through and show you from a side how dirty it is after a water change. So a lot of just crappy news in this room. A lot. Um, I also only see two frogs. I'm hoping that the remaining two are not males. The vivarium, however, does look pretty good and the growth is on point. Let's take a look and I'll chat a little bit about what I'm seeing with this one. Super lush. All right, so the deal is two frogs. We probably won't even see one because the growth is so phenomenal. Current USA lights are just doing exactly what they needed to do and I can't figure out autofocus on this camera, so we're gonna leave it in here so you can see how big of a doofus I am till I realize that the button is not on. Bam! The growth, like I said, is abundant. Um, I would only presume that the frogs are dying off due to the fact that they're starving each other and that's what they would do in the wild, right? So I'm hoping that these two remain. If not, then I've gotta figure out something. But I'm thinking about transplanting some of the growth to the other vivarium, but overall I'm really happy. It looks good. Oh, 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 do you see him? There's one of them. This has to be the aggressor. He is not afraid of anybody. You seen him on the left side of the screen? Look at him. He does not care. Look at, golly, they're beautiful. I want more, but right now I need to figure out what happened to that other one. So I'm really happy with this vivarium other than the fact that there is a missing frog. Now the tall one with the small thumbnails that love to climb, I have all four. Everything is looking great. I've got some growth, not as fast as I wanted to, but you gotta be patient with plants, right? So let's take a look and we'll chat a little bit about what I see happening in this bad boy. All of the frogs. So all four of them are in here. They're looking good, they're active, they're eating. And these little guys can climb. They climb the whole 36 inches of this vivarium and they do a wonderful job at blending in. They're very tiny, they won't get much bigger than they really are. I think max size is like an inch. Um, but it's a very tall vivarium with a lot of space for them to hide, to get away from each other. So I'm hoping that with this awesome growth, as you can see, another current USA light, but the growth here is explosive. It's just not what somebody with no patience would enjoy. So. Um, everything is coming in nicely. Stuff that I thought would die out is rebirthed itself. And then every single one of the transplants, except for that plant on the left has just kind of died out. But with the frogs being healthy and all the other new growth and just this bioactive world that's happening, I am very happy with this vivarium. I just wish the frogs were bigger and the plant growth was faster. So overall, there's a lot happening. There's a lot that I can't control and then there's some things that I need to work on. Overall, this tank, the growth on the plants is happening. The growth on some fish is happening. However, I am losing some other fish. 
it is a little difficult when you're trying to learn a new species and trying to figure out what they do and don't do. And just a lot of people have so many different varying opinions that, oh, they may be good, they may not be good. And I thought with that many tetras that I wouldn't have such a decline so rapidly. But it happened. The Tanganyikan tank is doing its thing and I couldn't be more excited for that one. The vivarium to the right of you with the dendrobate azurius, well, I'm a little nervous that maybe there will only be one at some point and then I'll have to think about introducing a few more and hopefully I can get some maybe more verified females because when you're getting them so small, you're just, you're hoping for the best. And this would happen in the wild and in the same style of territory, it just so happens that it's happening right now as they're getting bigger and ultimately I can't control that. Um, it's sad and it sucks. But the vivarium behind you, or me, in front of you, that bad boy, well, as you can see, it's doing very well. And overall, those thumbnails are doing phenomenal. They're growing, they're not gonna get massive, and that's what's neat about that species. And they really take control of that 36 inch height in that skyscraper. So I'm excited, I hope you're excited. There are some letdowns, and I can see one of the frogs staring at me, so I'm gonna feed. And I hope to see you at Aquashella. Do what you do because you enjoy doing it. You know what's next.